Hello everyone, this is the next video tutorial of uh, inventory management system and in this video tutorial this time I'm going to uh, uh, do uh, some basic uh, data seeding part and in this part this time I'm going to add roles uh, and actually uh, in the different style just I want to add some roles in the browser that is first of all create a new menu uh, and on the basis of the menu just I want to create a roles okay so uh, on the behalf of the menu just I want to create a roles okay so here we have you know that uh, IDB initializer class uh, IDB initializer interface so by using the IDB initializer you can just uh, create some methods like create role like uh, add super admin and etc uh, etc et okay so this that is the pre initialization features of your uh, project uh, or, or you can say that the for, uh, or once uh, uh, one time executed process so here we have uh, some methods signature like uh, create roles like uh, uh, add super admin uh, because that class is actually uh, used in the program.cs file you know that so uh, that is the basic steps but uh, the, just I want to create it in the new uh, design pattern so here I'm using a new design pattern to create roles okay so here we have a create roles and create super admin uh, method okay and just I want to add a new file again and uh, that is the top menu.cs just I want to design that menu for the uh, project so each module or, or you can say that each models have a menu like customer menu like vendor menu like uh, mm, purchase menu like product type menu invoice type menu like bill like uh, user these all are the menus so you can just add some classes inside the top menu uh, classes so uh, here we have a static classes and nested classes are your menu so here we have a customer like a static class top menu static class customer static class bank static class vendors so etc etc so uh, here I'm going to add some page name role name path controller name and action name so here we have some uh, basic things to do it here so controller name looking like that and action name is like that okay so everything is clear now after that just we we do for uh, the next process in the project that is uh, just going to add uh, another menu items in the project so here we have just do it yourself one by one all these models have a menu
so you can say that uh, brand uh, and all about the menus like that customer bank bill bill type branch brand etc so here uh, here we have a scenario or the agenda for the project that is just i want to uh, add um, menu as well as role on the basis of the classes so in the db initializer class here we have two uh, properties or you can say that uh, two fields related to user manager and the role manager so just uh, first of all add in the db initializer class where we have user manager as well as role manager okay so uh, you can see know that uh, db initializer is always used db user uh, user manager and the role manager okay so okay so just i want want to add a utility uh, in the utility uh, project just i want to add related to the roles like uh, just i want to create a service for the roles so here i am using i role as uh, if you want to add i role and user manager in the service just i want to add a new get package for the user manager and the role manager that is identity package and here i am using asp asp net core dot identity dot entity framework core in the project so here we have public class db initializer private read only user manager is the type of app user and similarly we have just used role manager with the identity role okay just after that you have to design a new uh, service that is i role and in the i role just i want to create roles on the basis of the menu So in the i role inventory class, uh, inventory class, just I'm going to add a uh, role features like uh, add a new role, like uh, mm, uh, create a new role, uh, generated new roles like that. So create a new role async. Just I want to iterate all the static classes that in the top menu. So just I want to create some roles on the basis of the menu, and just I want to add these um, roles uh, with the user. Uh, when the user is created on the basis of the user ID so uh, here we have add to role async basis on the user ID that is in the form of the string so just I role inventory make uh, implement that class um, with the uh, implement that class with the uh, I role inventory so role inventory is the part of the project okay
okay so you can say that uh, in the role inventory class just to implement that functions like uh, create a new role as well as adding role uh, to the user so here we have a basic functions to use it to uh, use actually nested classes and uh, by using the type uh, by using the type class okay so just you can see 